Jim, flip the cabin lights on right there. Barely. Just barely. Just barely? Yeah. They didn't go out at all this morning. Did you see some sunshine today? Yeah, pretty, pretty good bit. Yeah, just been scattered clouds, but no, you know, not covered in. Yes. Reset the computer for it and yeah, we're yeah. done with this Control disconnecting it. that positive hot lead. Just take it there you go. Everything separate for a few seconds. Everything looks clean, we just gotta put it all back now. See if it resets. What's it supposed to do? Go to green? It'll go to yeah, not a yellow and then green. Red is like less than 10%. I came back and we're back to red on the controller. Okay. But what's happened is, is in order for the controller to fire up and send power from the solar panel to the battery, mm -hmm. it has to recognize that it's hooked to a battery. I see. Um, and you guys ran the voltage down so low that it doesn't recognize it because it gets down below. Uh, 10 volts mm -hmm. on the battery, then the controller doesn't even recognize that it's hooked to a battery. I see. You understand? Okay. So you really, you really want to, you want to kind of keep an eye on the voltage of that thing, and you know when it starts getting down below 12 volts, that's when you really need to start serving. You can look at the controller. Right. And see, and see the exact voltage on there. Okay. And when it gets below 12 volts, you really want to start serving. You don't want to run the battery all the way down like that. Um, what you could do though is um, that other bigger battery um, is still good. It just doesn't last very long. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. You could you could rehook that bigger battery. Um, I wish you had a set of jumper cables on there or something because then you know you could put a set of jumper cables on the big we, battery. We got some old extension cords. <laughs> Right. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, so would that go in parallel or series? In parallel. So in parallel would be positive to positive, negative to negative? Right. Yeah, okay. Right. You wouldn't want to leave it that way because that older battery will damage the new one mm -hmm. after a period of time. But if you had it that way just long enough, like, like say for a whole day, to bring that the battery back up so it's showing voltage. Okay. He wants to jump with the bad battery, charge the bad battery without the good one, and the one we're using now take out of the system. Oh, I see. So switch the terminals to the old battery, right. get it up, and then jump her over, yeah. put it yeah, back on the new you, battery, and jump her over. Before you jump her over, just make sure the sun is out in that battery, the voltage on that battery is up pretty good. Okay. Before you jump her. What should the voltage be on that? 13 volts is what it's. So we need to make sure that the, old, the one we're not using now, the old battery, is up to about 13 before we start jumpering. Is that correct? Exactly. Okay. Yes. 
so if we were to hook the these two batteries we got now in parallel it's going to ruin the new battery is that what you're telling me it will yeah. ruin a few lessons that way yeah yeah okay so at this at this point we're certain it's not the solar panel it's uh, uh i'm pretty i'm pretty sure yeah okay um because if the solar panel was bad mm -hmm. on, the, on the controller you would still show battery voltage and everything you would just not show any amperage or you'd show an error code i see you know if you had like a also, the panel was the short on, you had a dead short on it, it would show an error code, but you still show battery voltage. Okay. Well, that's yeah. encouraging. And that's how I can tell that the voltage is super low on that battery because when you turn on those LED lights, they don't hardly draw nothing. Mm -hmm. Most things are barely coming out of that, it's the voltage of the battery is very, very low. Right. Okay. Where else I can be? Well, I know, but I, just to <laughs> well, I, I verified it. It's got a mic. Yeah, that's all I'm worried about. I'm gonna need a hands to hold that box. Now we got it jury rigged up together with the old battery here. Can you see? Tell me what it says on the left. It says 12.30. Okay, we need that to be 13. That's the voltage and the amps. It says zero amps right now. It means we're not taking anything off of it. Only charge it. No, it should show some amperage if the solar panels are working. Jessica, you know where these jumper cables are? Right now it says 1.1. 1 .1. Oh, it does say 1.1. Now it okay. does. It didn't a second ago. Amperage. Okay, cool. 1.2. Cool, we're getting from charging. We got about another volt to go. We're at 12.4 right now. All right, good. 1.3 amps. Green and orange. Are we in the yellow now? Yeah, we're in the, well, the red's still on, but we definitely got yellow lit. It should go yellow-green. When it gets to yellow-green, that means we're ready to jump her. Yeah. All right, now what, what's the deal with this baby okay, here? Now, this guy right here, that's the uh, controller for all the solar arrays. Basically a big computer? Exactly, for the 48-volt system. This is a controller for the 12-volt system. What's the on-off switch for? If you let the boat sit a couple of days and you don't use it and everything's charged up, you throw that switch. Yeah, you blow her down. I mean, these are just disconnects to shut the whole... This, this is the so this is the batteries and this is the PVN. Well, you don't know what that Panel was. volts in? Yeah. I don't know. And then that's the... Yeah, that's the one different mode, different systems on the 48 volts. Right. Right now we're on all because we're charging both banks of battery. Okay. Or, yeah. Yeah, it should tell us Four batteries we, per bank. And we've got, yeah, we're really taking in, we've got 57.6 volts, which is good. On the on the panels? Yeah, and 7.8 amps, so we're still We're at 12.5 now, and we're at 1.4 amps, 12.5 volts. Hey, I made the switch, we switched to the old battery. It already has some charge on it, so it's up to like 12.5 12 uh, 12 volts. Okay. And the controller is, you know, showing red, yellow, and we've got uh, anywhere from 1.2 to 1.5 ish amps. Okay. And we, 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 guys, you're still no charge on it. Yeah, that's all that happened when you guys ran that battery completely dead. Okay. Um, the other battery should do better for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't think we killed it running it all the way down, do you? No, no. Okay. No, I'm sure it'll come back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it, we'll uh, we're just gonna let it charge and just not put anything on it, and then get up in the morning and uh, jumper it like you suggested, and then make this uh -huh. get the controller back up and make the switch. Well, what you can do is, uh, you know, if it's if it's still th if it's throwing a charge at it right now, uh huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, and see, I didn't know. I, I thought it was frogs, because I didn't know any better, and I kept hearing no. this chirping sound, and we it just came a big rain, and we thought it was frogs. <laughs> <laughs>
then I finally then I finally traced it down to the I finally traced it down to the inverse. It's coming from this thing over here, and, and then then we it, it just completely passed away at that point. Right. Um, so, like I say, how I got set up is, is that at a certain voltage, the you'll hear the alarm go off on the inverter. So you turn that inverter off, and at that point, you know. Got to get out of there. Gotta, you got to conserve. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's, that's okay. what you want to watch out for. Okay. Well, I'm, you know about the tone. Nope. I had no idea. <laughs> But we're get, we we just gonna start a policy where we're gonna take all the wall warts off the you know off the because they they draw power too. Um, all the wall warts you know that charge cell phone batteries and all that we're just gonna clean that off at night too and make sure there's nothing sitting on it. Yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. You only do what you need to. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think what caused it is the the uh, the big spotlight which has a dead short in it was left on. Yeah, we had a, somebody had hooked a spotlight up that had a short in it and. Probably pull oh, it yeah, down. Like yeah. Then tomorrow, sometime when the sun's out good, you see this parallel that battery for probably just an hour or two, you know what I mean? When mm -hmm. the amperage is high on the solar panel and everything. Okay. And the, and the voltage is up. Just parallel, parallel it for a couple hours. Okay. And then put it back the way it was. And you, but you want to make sure you got plenty of sunlight for it to finish charging when, when right. you put it back. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Jim used to have a multimeter on there. You know how to use one of those? Mm -hmm. When you when you unparallel the battery, like when you think you got enough charge for this controller to recognize it, yeah. Just put it put the multimeter on DC, right? Twelve volt, and just see how much voltage is on there before you take waste your time switching them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, measure the it's, the battery that's charging now. No, measure the new battery once you parallel it. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. Okay, it's been charging long well enough. I'm gonna switch it back. Right. DC volts put on twenty. Take wires off. Put your voltage tester on the new battery, and make sure it's showing like at least eleven five or so. Okay, remember that number. You know what I mean? Five. Okay. And then the controller should recognize it at that point. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. And what I wanted to do is, I'm trying. I've, I've been trying to get Jim another battery here. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell him, but. Mm -hmm. um, Jim, Jim done got scared when he said refrigerator. He thought we meant air conditioning. <laughs> well, he could. He's got how about a, how about a blender for power. some uh, pina coladas or something? That would be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, about, how about an ice cube? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks uh, for the help. Uh, we'll we'll do as you say, and then if any other thing come up, we'll let you know.